They are a mother-son team with a love for manta rays. Julie Hartup studies them, and her son Chase Weir shares what they see underwater through video. It's nice having a manta researcher <laughs> at your fingertips, be able to go collect video, you know, just even to get out, spend time, you know, when I need to get away. Um, just be able to swim out, go see them. Hartup chose mantas as her research focus for her master's degree at the University of Guam because she knew she'd never get bored of the animal. Since there aren't many scientists studying mantas, Hartup is making a lot of new discoveries about this majestic fish. She says they're more social than we knew, but they're smart too. Here in Guam, we actually found this new behavior where they're coming in and targeting these fish spawning aggregations to feed off the fish spawn. And they come in as groups. And so I see them in higher numbers than just like one or two. I see them kind of come in in patterns or, or come in with one or two together. Hartip hopes her research will lead to the eventual preservation of manta habitats on Guam to help bring ecotourism to the island. We can find places that are as a a controlled area where people can enjoy diving with them, um, then it's a benefit to both. People love mantas, they want to protect them, protect their habitat, and in turn we get more people coming to Guam because they want to see our mantas. As the Manta Trust project leader for the Marianas and the FSM, Hartup will present her research with other leading manta scientists from throughout the world in Yap next week. Weir will accompany her to share his video. And since it'll be manta mating season in Yap, he's bringing his camera too. Betsy Brown, PNC News.